Webb to one. Sparky's Choice and Gold Invader and Kelso Chant all at twenties, all seven show. Leading on his very first visit to Newcastle, so let's hand over to Graeme Good. As they come to the second, an open ditch, and Wiggy Geo is in second place, or at least disputing it with Silent Valley. Then comes Kelso Chant in third, and behind Kelso Chant is Solo Sam, behind Solo Sam, Gold Invader. Then Sparky's Choice, and the favourite 14 has expressed the back marker at this stage. To the third, which they all jump safely. And Gold Invader now just towards the rear with 14 as Express and Silent Valley takes up the running once again from Wiggy Geo in second place as they head towards the fourth. Silent Valley in the lead from Wiggy Geo in second place, then Solo Sam is fourth, Kelso Solo Sam is third, Kelso Chant is fourth, then 14 as Express, then Spark is choice, and the back marker is Gold Invader. As they meet Rising Ground on the far side. One of the stiffest parts of the track, this, coming up towards the fifth. Silent Valley in the lead. All safely over the fifth. Silent Valley, John Frankham, 93 winners so far this season, in the lead. From Wiggy Geo in second place, and Solo Sam is third. Then comes Kelso Chan in fourth, and Fortuna's Express fifth. Spark is choice is sixth, and Gold Invader just seventh. And all seven tightly grouped in the picture as they turn into the home straight and come towards the sixth, which is the second open ditch. Silent Valley taking them along at a sensible pace, coming into it, jumps it well, they all jump it well, all experienced handicappers. Silent Valley in the lead, Wiggy Geo in second, then Solo Sam in third, Kelso Chan four. No change in the order as they take that, the seventh, come down to what will be the last next time round. They value for money in these national chases, don't you, these three-mile chases. Silent Valley in the lead from Wiggy Geo in second place. Silent Valley, Wiggy Geo. Then Solo, Sam, Fortuna's Express, Kelso, Chant. Spark his choice up on the outside and Gold Invader close up. Although he is last at this stage, is no more than half a dozen lengths off the leader. Silent Valley, who goes in towards fence number nine. This is the water jump for the only time. The leader from Wiggy Geo in second place, then Solo Sam is third. Then comes Kelso Chant in four and Spark is choice five. Fortuna is expressed at this stage as he is back a little bit, carrying his head a little bit high and behind him is Gold Invader. And so Derek, uh, as they settle out, set out towards fence number ten, all to play for. Yes, and all seven still in with a chance, but watch Frankham on the leader, the champion jockey is so Delightful to watch, isn't he? He's very, very smooth. He hardly moves a muscle, even when the horse makes a mistake. And Silent Valley going very nicely as they go down towards the two downhill fences. I think John would probably just increase the pace a little bit, but this horse, who has got dicky legs, he can't do too much about him. We've got the long shot because we've just lost a camera out there at the moment, but all safely over that. Wiggy Geo going well in second, and uh, Solo Sam still pulling Chris Bimlop's arms out in third place, but I can see Ridley Lamb now just taking closer order on Fortuna's Express, and uh, he's got the leader covered right in his sights, but still all to play for as they turn it the back straight, Graham. With eight more fences to jump. Silent Valley, Wiggy Geo, Solo Sam, Kelso Chant. Then Spark his choice on the outside of Fortuna's Express, just ahead of Gold Invader. Graham may, a little bit, may be a little bit soft for him today. Well past halfway. Silent Valley in the lead, Wiggy Geo, then Kelso Chant and Solo Salmon Spark is choice. Fortuna's Express and Gold Invader. All close enough, if good enough, at this stage. Over that one, the ditch, and there, Fortuna's Express made a mistake. So too did Gold Invader. Wiggy Geo takes up the running from Silent Valley. Wiggy Geo, Silent Valley. Then comes Kelso Chant, Solo Salmon Spark is choice. Fortuna's Express trying to get back into the race after that mistake. Quite a bit to do at this stage. Wiggy Geo in the lead. Wiggy Geo the leader from Silent Valley and Kelso Chant and Solo Sam. And Spark is choice and 14 is Express. Clear from Gold Invader. Four more fences left to jump. Just over three quarters of a mile to race. Wiggy Geo, Silent Valley, Kelso Chant getting much closer on the outside. Good jump by him, bad one by Silent Valley. Solo Sam is fourth, Spark is choice fifth, Fortuna's Express is in sixth. But Wiggy Geo has the advantage over Kelso Chant in second place as they begin the turn into the home straight. Three more fences to jump, Silent Valley just coming into the picture in third place, Solo Sam four. 
Then Spark is choice. 14 is Express getting a lot closer now. Ridley Lamb giving up one plenty of time to get over that mistake. He's uh, getting ever closer at the third from home. Still plenty to do, though, as Wiggy Geo takes him over in the lead. Wiggy Geo goes some two to three lengths ahead now. From Kelso Chance, Solo Sam, 14 is Express under pressure. Come down to the second from home. Wiggy Geo in the lead from Kelso Chant. Then comes Solo Sam. Then 14 is Express, Silent Valley, Spark is Choice and Gold Invader. Just one more fence to jump and Wiggy Geo out in the lead. Wiggy Geo the leader. Clear from Kelso Chant, Solo Sam, 14 is Express and Silent Valley over that one. A good jump by Wiggy Geo. Kelso Chant is in second, Solo Sam is third. 14 is Express is fourth and then comes Silent Valley and Spark is Choice and Gold Invader. But as they race up towards the line, it's Wiggy Geo maintaining a four to five length lead. Clear from Solo Sam coming up towards the line. Wiggy Geo from Solo Sam at the line. Wiggy Geo the winner. Solo Sam is second, Kelso Chant is third, Fortino's Express only fourth, then came Spark is Choice, behind Spark is Choice came Silent Valley, and finally Gold Invader, and so the result of this, the Matt Fenn Handicap Chase, is a win for number 11, Wiggy Geo, owned by Mr. Albert Sanderson, Wiggy Geo, the 5-2 winner, trained by Miss Jean Sanderson of Middlesbrough, and written by Mr. Nigel Tutty.